So this is a video on how to easily draw Mr. Somatic's Andrew Chapman's points and Poster Chapman's points on your Comlex test day. Um, this is not my original work. This is um, like a compilation of online meta, true learn answer banks, and um, some previous YouTube videos. So I'll link those below. Um, so with this or somatics, you're going to start off by drawing 14 lines and um, labeling them T1 through 12. And then L1 and 2. And you're going to draw this pattern where you go from 1 to 4. And you're going to go down one more. 2 to 7. Down one more. 5 to 9, 10, 11, 12 to 2. And you're going to copy that same pattern right here. You're going to go up one here. And then do something like this. And we can label them now. So um, this one is head and neck. I'll zoom in. is your heart, lung, and upper extremity, esophagus, um, upper GI, middle GI, lower GI, upper GU, lower GU. Um, this is also bladder. Along, along with the upper GU, this is also your gonads. On the other side, you're going to come over here and do uterus, cervix, lower extremity. This is your erectile tissue and prostate. We're almost done. You'll circle T10 and 12. This is your adrenal medulla. And this is your appendix. Um, so when you get a question, any of these that touch the bottom will originate from the pelvic spleen connects. If they ask for parasympathetics, the rest are vagus. So if it doesn't touch the bottom, it originates from the vagus. So if you draw this a few times, it becomes really second nature and really easy. Um, anterior Chapman's points, you'll draw 12 lines and label them T1 through 12. I like to draw a line down the middle. It's kind of like my sternum. I draw my clavicles. And then I draw, this is silly, a humerus. There's a few more things I draw, and I'll draw those in a second. In the superior medial clavicle, you'll have ear. These are bilateral. Um, in the inferior medial clavicle, you'll have sinus. Inferior to the... Um, SCM attachment point, you'll have your pharynx. Um, and then on T2, you'll have larynx and tongue. Bilaterally here, you'll have tonsils. And this is your first intercostal space. So just so you know the numbering, this is like one, two, three. So that doesn't... Um, get you tripped up on exam day. Um, the coracoid process here is your cerebellum. And then posterior lateral humerus is your retina and conjunctiva. All right, now we can go back here. So here you'll have um, your myocardium, esophagus, thyroid, and bronchus. Here you'll have your heart. Um, 
I skip two on the side here. And since these are your anterior Chapman's points, this is your right side, and this is your left side. So on the right side here, you'll have your upper lung plus arm. You'll have your lower lung. Below the lower lung, this is your right side, so you'll have your liver. Below that, you'll have liver plus gallbladder. And then you'll have your pancreas. On the opposite side, you'll have stomach. Here you'll have acid. And here you'll have motility. I misspelled that, that's all right. And then below that, you'll have your spleen. The next three bilaterally will be your small bowel. Um, this middle part of the sternum is your pylorus. Okay, and then never forget tip of the 12th rib on the right side is your appendix. All right, there's a few more anterior Chapman's points. These are kind of easy to remember. Um, if you have your umbilicus, that is your bladder, one inch lateral and superior, you'll have your kidneys, and what sits on top of your kidneys, your adrenal glands. So your kidneys are one inch lateral and superior, your adrenals are one inch lateral and two inches superior to your umbilicus. Um, you'll have your innominates. And your pubic tubercle, you'll have your ovary and your urethra. At your inferior um, nominate, you'll have your uterus. It took me a second. All right, just a few more. You'll have your legs bilaterally. Um, if you haven't learned that your large bowel folds over, you'll have your cecum here, then your ascending colon, transverse, descending colon, and then rectum, or sigmoid rectum. Um, so it'll kind of be up, upside down like this. So as if you took your guts and just folded them over like an apron, but for the sake of this being clean, I'll erase those, and those are ones you should really be able to get on test day. You'll have on your posterior to your IT band, you'll have your prostate and the broad ligament. Um, and then we'll put the humerus here. On the lesser troke of the humerus, you'll have the rectum. And then vagina is just considered, well, I'll put this lesser troke. And vagina is inner thigh. One more that I forgot that I recently learned is here where your ASIS is, inferior and lateral to it. That's what it's called, inferior and lateral. To your ASIS, you'll have intestinal peristalsis. There we go. Um, so, what, like I said, once you practice these a few times, they get really intuitive. Last one, not least, is your posterior Chapman's point. You'll draw 19 lines. You'll start off with C1. and then go to T1 through 12. And then L1 to 5. Immediately when I do this, I cross out T1 and T12 to remind myself that there's nothing on those points. This is posterior, so this will be the right side and this will be the left side. And unless I say otherwise, all of these points are on the transverse process. So, unless otherwise. So we'll start off. And they're bilateral, unless I say otherwise. So your first one is gonna be your ear. 
And this is on the posterior rami. Then you have your ENT grab bag. Um, so think like nose, sinuses, um, larynx, pharynx, things like that. These are on your articular pillars. All right, now the rest of these are mostly on the transverse process. So two, we'll start off with the heart. Similarly, you'll have the upper lung and arms. And I'm drawing these on the line because they're on that specific um, transverse process. You'll have your lower lungs. And then on your left side, you'll have stomach acid, stomach mobility, and your spleen. On the uh, right side, you'll have your liver, liver plus gallbladder, and your pancreas. Um, the next three are your small bowel. So similar pattern to the front. Below that, you'll have your adrenals. G12 skips, remember. So L1 below your adrenals, you'll have your kidneys, then your bladder, and then your urethra. Um, we'll skip to the bottom again, and you'll have your uterus here. The large bowel is from two to four. They say they're in these like triangular patterns. Most questions I've gotten still consider them on the transverse process. So large bowel. Now, there are some random funny ones. Um, the way online med ed helps you remember this is uterus um, is on L5. You have two ovaries. Two times five is ten. So we'll go back up to T10. And while they're like down the line drawn here from the small bowel X's, they're still in the transverse process. So we'll put ovary above the ovary bilaterally. We have the pylorus. And then I like to think of pop, P O P. This one is actually in the space, and that is intestinal peristalsis. If you can't remember which P, pylorus or peristalsis, I like to think that the pylorus comes in the body before your intestinal peristalsis, like distally to proximally, um, or proximal to distal. So you put pylorus and then peristalsis as your second P. So pylorus, ovary, peristalsis. We're not going to forget our appendix again. It's on the right side, and that goes here. Because remember, nothing is on T12. A couple more. On your PSIS, you'll have your prostate, broad ligament, and vagina. And then, this is my sacrum. They say middle, lateral middle sacrum. And your rectum. All right, this is a lot, but if you draw this a few times, you will get this, and you can just dump this information immediately when you get to your test. Good luck.